can't breathe on his own? No, which is why we're breathing for him on a ventilator. This scan? Well, this scan gives us detailed pictures of Paul's brain so we know the extent of the damage. This is brain damage? Yes, unfortunately. And we do not believe that Paul will survive. The um, injuries were just too severe. Are they still breathing? Yes, on a ventilator. But that's not dead, is it? Paul's in a coma. Surely he'll snap out of it. His brain is dead, and once we switch off the machine, he will cease to breathe. How do you know? Well, we've tried already. You see, it's standard practice. We have to see if he can breathe on his own. So, you switched off the machine. You've switched it back on. Are you playing bloody God or what? You doctors, you're unbelievable. That machine stays on. Mr. Peterson, the condition is irreversible. There's no chance of us helping Paul survive. Can I see him? Yes, of course. That's the machine? That's what's breathing for him? The ventilator, yes. I want to be the one to turn it off. Look, there's no easy way of saying this, but have you considered the possibility of Paul being a donor? An organ donor? Yes. Yes, that way he's helping other people to live. No, no. That's, that's, that's our Paul. He had a donor card. What? Yeah, it came with a phone bill. He filled it out. I didn't even know he sent it in. But he's alive. Does he look dead to you? For goodness sakes, Donald, the machine is keeping him alive. But he's warm. Donald, would it stop? The machine has to stay on, right? Yes, if he used to donate. I don't want him touched. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what you want. We have to talk about this. It's what Paul wanted. <coughs> Don. Don, come on, you have to face this. Let's do some good for once. I don't want my boy carved up like a piece of meat. Oh, and you think I do? I think you'll have them hack away to their heart's content, take the bits that they want, and we'll be left with. It's what Paul wanted. How did Paul know what he wanted? He was a boy. He knows what he wanted. You know, he knew that they wanted his heart and his kidneys. So what are we going to be left lungs? with? What? A bag full of scraps. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous, Donald. I don't want him messed with. Oh, come on, look. Nobody looks in the coffin. I want to feel Paul still here. Still giving someone life, leaving memories. What about my memories? A and what about my memories? And what about Emma's memories? And what about Paul's memory? Is it all just you, you, you? But he's my son. And he's my son, and he's Emma's brother, and he's mother's grandson, and he's our family. If only he oh. stayed in. Come on, come on, don't, don't, don't do that, don't do that. There's nothing, it doesn't make any sense to go there. But if only he'd stayed at home, I, didn't oh, sneak I out. Oh, I know, come on, but we have to move past this. The donation, we have to decide now. I've decided. I don't want him messed up. 